Hey y'all. Hey y'all, I got a beard. My most popular video on this channel ever, 50,000 views, was me shaving my beard in, er, I think early May, late, wait, no, early April, 2020. I called it shaving my quarantine lady beard because I only thought that we were gonna be in quarantine for a couple weeks. I thought, you know what? We, I have a golden opportunity here and now it's a year and a half later and I grew it out again. Last time video I had 10 days of growth and this time I have seven. I've been growing it for a week. This is what it looks like. I know a lot of people found this to be a curiosity. Some people gawked. Some people um, had a fetish that I was not aware existed until that time. And I liked in my last video where I shave it, it's like, there, it was sort of this like split argument between people where there was like one half of commentators was like, oh, oh no, don't shave it off. Oh, you look beautiful. You go girl, you know, like body positivity, whatever. And then the other half of people was like, no, don't encourage her. This looks awful. This is terrible. Don't, no man will ever want her like that, you know? And I guess that it, like the, the latter comments didn't really bother me because I am, I'm fully aware that this is not a normal thing that a lot of women can do. A hundred years ago, I would have been in the circus and that's fine. Like, I'm aware that it's strange. And I'm also fully aware that it's taboo to have facial hair as a lady. So, yeah, that conversation didn't bother me. If you want to have it again, love the engagement. Love the engagement for the al algorithm. But that being said, I am ready to shave this off now. It is itchy. Um... I am not used to it. I keep on touching it. It's just like irritating the follicles. And uh, my uh, nephew is about to be born uh, any second. Could be at, at literally any time now. And uh, like my sister's not in labor yet, but she is dilated already. So it, it just could literally be at any time. And I, you know, I guess I just don't want a beard and the family photos. The first time I meet my nephew to have a goatee. I don't know. Is that self-hating? I don't know. All right, let's get this fucking thing off. I actually posted, just posted a photo of myself with this much beard growth on my Facebook, which is, um, not something I have ever done before. I have often told people that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I am a bearded lady, but I think that they believe that I am exaggerating and I am not. Um, I have a private Instagram and I posted it on there and uh, one of my mom's friends that I've known like my entire life um, messaged me and was like, oh my gosh, are you transitioning or are your, are your Photoshop skills just that good that you're fooling me? Like, she, it didn't occur to her that I could just be a, like a bearded cis lady. Um, I find this part very satisfying. Mmm. But yeah, I used to joke. Never mind how yellow my teeth look in this light. I used to joke that, oh God, my teeth look really yellow in this lighting. It's just, it's just the shaving cream looks so white. Um, joke that the final step for me in total self-acceptance would be to grow the beard out. And I feel like maybe posting that photo on Facebook just now was like, Kind of big for me. I don't know. It's like I didn't ask for this. I just, I was one of God's favorites. I got a special power to grow a beard. Ah. But, um, 
This is a, wait, no, those are temples. Oh, it's like, I, I, one thing that the pandemic has taught me actually is that I prefer myself without a beard. And that I actually do like keeping it shaved because there's literally nothing stopping me. I wear a mask when I go outside. I never see anyone, my job. I do have to appear on camera at my job, but it's only on a very grainy laptop webcam. So nobody notices except for me, I'm sure. Oh, that feels so much better. All right. Now. I'm sorry, I know I've been looking at myself in the viewfinder this whole time. But it's like I literally do need to actually look at my face. I'm using the camera as a mirror for better video quality. Oh, I look very red. <coughs> It's not Delta, I actually was just tested. Okay, and now I think that I'm actually gonna even go a step further and put on some makeup because I am about to, you guessed it, do some content for my OnlyFans. Link in the description. And I have, um, People paid me for some bearded content this week, which I have just gotten done filming. And if you want specific bearded content, that it will be an extra cost. I don't give that away for free on the regular timeline. I feel like tonight I'm probably gonna do like an occult themed photo. <laughs> okay. And I want. I started using blush <laughs> for the first time in my life. Uh, God, like, seriously, God bless the 2020s for the style. I actually have really been enjoying it. I like wearing blush. I like wearing scrunchies. I like I like the idea that chubby girls can wear crop tops. This if this didn't exist in the nineties, we didn't have any of that shit. Well, I guess we had blush, but I had to deal with fucking low rise pants. Literally the least complimentary pant for my body shape. And let's see here, I also want some mascara. I feel like I always feel like I do mascara long, wrong. Like, does anyone else just blink their mascara on? Because that's how I do it. I feel like, you know, I feel like, oh, oh, I can't do that. I got a little, a little on my eyelid there. Okay, and then what? Where is my, where is my lipstick? I think it's in my purse. I feel like these kind of videos are like a talent show. Like, this is my secret talent, is that I can grow facial hair. <laughs> my secret talent is that I have a hormone disorder. All right. That lipstick needs fixing. Is this a, is this a cute angle? Probably not, right?
Alright, well, I actually I don't look half bad for having done this in my dark bathroom using just a ring light, so you know what? And now I'm just a regular girl again. <laughs> okay, bye!